people outside of IT. Computer science and IT are the same thing, but the people inside IT or computer science, they're completely different. It's kind of like Fight Club, you know? Rule number one of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. And the rule number one of IT is you don't talk about IT. <laughs> All right, that one doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. But uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the differences between uh, IT and computer science. So let's get to it. All right, number one difference I would have to say is that people in IT generally like m make less money than people based around computer science. And this might be because people you don't necessarily need a degree. Well, you don't need a degree for either necessarily, but generally people in IT can go for like less years, like a two-year degree instead of a four-year degree, like people, a lot of people do with computer science. But salary isn't everything. Quality of life is also important in your decision between IT and computer science. So let me start with IT and explain, I guess, why you might want that quali the quality of life that you can attain by working in the IT field. So IT, information technology, if you didn't know what it stood for, but hopefully you did. <laughs> Otherwise, how did you get here? Uh, I guess it relates to anything relates to anything relating to both information and technology, just dissecting the words. So this can be like computers, operating systems, or hardware like mouses and keyboards as well. So IT can also be a general umbrella term for anyone that's good at, I guess, technology can work on IT. So some examples of some kind of work you might be doing in IT would be kind of like fixing a computer, building a basic website, very basic for like internal staff to use, Maybe patching some computers for some updates, installing software for internal staff, uh, maybe s solving some bugs on like the soft the uh, the computer's software that like the company might use. Uh, you might also getting the computers and software set up for the company. Like new people, you have to get get them all set up with the the right tools to the for the job, and so they can do their tasks. And a lot of it is oftentimes internal to the company. Not You're not like building stuff for customers. That's generally a consensus of what IT will do. Um, so oftentimes you'll also be working at like a help desk. It's not always, but you can also be working at a help desk, like help people. Um, people will come to the desk saying, hey, my computer's broken, can you fix it for me? And you, you might do that starting off. Uh, if you're not a help desk, you might be like servicing like individual stores if it's like a retail kind of thing. Um, so this might require travel if the stores are far apart. All right, now let's take a look at computer science. So computer science is not so focused on like the hardware or the oper specific operating systems necessarily, but more specifically the applications that run on the computers and creating usually the software that will run on them. So some example tasks that someone based in computer science could be working on would be building like a website or application or app, like iPhone app, Android app for like a company or for the public to use, generally for the public, building new software for the public, like software as a service, or maybe like building cloud so services, maybe making a new operating system like Windows or Apple might also be what you're working on. Maybe you're just building general services, like some microservices for the public, or maybe not the public, but that are on applications. At the end of the day, uh, getting a job in IT or computer science, or based around computer science, kind of software engineer in that case, or being a, a professional computer toucher would be like a lucrative job for the future. And Though it might make a little bit less in IT, it's not going to be that much less on like on average. Though you probably have a higher cap for like software engineering if you, if you're like in the Silicon Valley, but on average, it's probably not going to be too big of a difference. And the job growth rate for both of these fields is very high, and you'll pretty much be guaranteed to have a job in the future. All right, that is this video. Thanks for watching it. Uh, hope you have a great day.